guys, how's it going? It's Justine, and today we're gonna to be talking about the past week that I've spent with the Nintendo Switch, and I'm not gonna lie, it's actually exceeded my expectations. So Nintendo sent out a bunch of early copies to YouTubers and journalists, as usual, as most game companies do, and I'm so grateful that they did send me one. A week ago, I posted the unboxing and also a setup video. If you guys haven't seen that, you can feel free to check out the links below, and you can watch those after this. One of the things that I was most surprised about is the portability. I mean, yeah, it's basically a tablet with controllers. But for me, I play so much Nintendo 3DS, I really don't leave home without it. I love Street Pass. That is one thing that this is lacking currently. I am hoping the Nintendo just has some sort of miraculous announcement, maybe launch day, maybe a few months later, that it will support Street Pass. I don't want to have to carry both. Like, I want this to be my new everything. My friends and I, we will go to Disney, honestly, just to Street Pass. It's one of the most incredible places to Street Pass because people from all around the world go there. So not only will you get locals, but you get worldwide me's. Anyway, that's just a huge wish list for me. Now let's moving on to the games. I know one of the huge things is people are saying there's not a lot of games, and that's true. There currently isn't, but guess what? The amount of time that I plan on putting in on Zelda, there's nothing else that's gonna matter. I'm pretty sure I've probably put in at least 25 hours, possibly more. I'm really bad at estimating, but I'm, I'm pretty sure yesterday I probably put in 15 hours because I didn't really leave the couch and everywhere that I went, like I, I played it. And, this can be verified by my sister. I even actually ended up staying in my sister's house because I didn't want to take the time to drive home. Guys, I'm starting to get worried about her. She won't go home because she doesn't want to stop playing her game. I also didn't post videos for the past two days because this is the reason. Zelda is really really fun. And I didn't think that I would actually really get into it, but I love open world games and this is extremely open world. The only bad part for me is my gameplay style is I get extremely sidetracked on side quests. Anyone that asks me for help, I'm like, yeah, let me go hunt those deer for you. Oh, do you want me to help you out? You got a problem? I'm here for you. I'm your girl. It's great. The voice acting, like every, I just, oh, I don't know. I'm really enjoying it and I'm so excited for you guys to play it. I think the last Zelda that I played was Majora's Mask on 3DS. I had my sister also film me out and about to show you guys some scenarios of what it's like to be out with the Switch. CNET made this overly dramatic video about the kickstand showing you that it does fall over very easily. It isn't exactly the most sturdy thing ever, so definitely be careful. But like, I mean, this is with Joy-Cons on. It's like, it's pretty solid. Like you do have to really push it. It's kind of like the size of a stick of gum. This is also where you're gonna be putting your SD card in. For the past few nights, I keep telling myself, one more shrine, just one more shrine, just one more tower to unlock, and then we're gonna go to sleep. But then something else happens, and then I find myself an hour or two hours later awake. I've also been playing a little bit of One Two Switch. I played with my sister and my friend Matt, and thankfully I have a fairly decently sized office, so there's a lot of room for capture the beach flag. Get in position. Get set. Well, what do we do? You gotta just run. Let me tell you, run. And then you hit raise your. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are really going. <laughs> oh god, it hurt. Raise the flag, Jenna. Ah, it's okay. Jenna, raise it. I was like, wait a minute. I thought we were just gonna be milking cows. So you gotta like squeeze like you're squeezing a nutter and milk. <laughs> milk! Look at your hands as you milk. And eating hoagies. Look farther away, farther away. <laughs> and testing our zen. Is your leg straight? Yep. Get that leg up. Uh. 
But no, there was definitely some some super active games in that one too. All in all, portability is incredible. Gameplay is awesome. I just love being able to take this thing everywhere. One of the things that I'm looking forward to other than more games is the accessories. One thing that I really want is a cool stand. Probably some sort of case that this can be set in that has like a better little tripod because this does make me a little bit nervous. I also need a really good travel case. I found one on Amazon. I'll also put a link in the description and I will review some of those when I get them in. But this one looks really cool. It has like a nice gray pattern. It looks like everything's gonna fit quite nicely, but this fit pretty well in my backpack that I already have. I'm just really concerned about the buttons because I don't want those to get knocked around if they're just loose in my bag. So I do want to have a protective cover for it. And on my wish list is being able to buy extra docks. I'd love to have one downstairs on my living room television, have one at my parents' house. So when me and my sister go home for the holidays or come to visit, we don't need to bring the dock. It'll already be there ready and waiting for us. Another good thing is since this is USB-C charger, which you do have to be careful because not all USB-C cables are made the same. Make sure you're using certified USB-C cables that you know are not some generic knockoff because it can definitely fry your devices. So USB-C cables that I've been using are the USB-C ones that came with my Pixel phone and all of the Apple certified ones. I was even just charging this with my new MacBook Pro laptop charger. Since the new MacBook is pretty much predominantly USB-C, that makes my life pretty simple when it comes to charging. And now we just need the next iPhone to charge with USB-C and everything will be awesome. I'm not sure if there was anything else that I wanted to say. I know a bunch of people on Twitter wanted to know my thoughts. A lot of people in the comments upset that I got one saying I don't deserve it. Well, you know what? I'm sorry. I love Nintendo, okay? I'm a huge Nintendo fan. And if you don't believe it, that's really not my problem. One of my favorite comments was like, that's the first time she's probably ever touched a console. And I was like, I probably have more consoles on my desk than your age, which I actually only have two over there, which would make you two. Xbox, PlayStation. And actually, well, I've got, I've got some good stuff. Hold on a second. I've got rid of a lot of my good consoles, but I've saved some of my favorites. Just hold on a second. Let me bring something over for you. Ooh, I've got some of my favorite things. This was the R2-D2 Xbox 360. I now have this sitting on a display shelf because it's so beautiful and I couldn't get myself to get rid of it when I finally upgraded to Xbox One. This is also my collector's item. It's the Nintendo 3DS. It's the NES version. Man, I even have a Nintendo 64 sitting over here. This is also the C3PO controller. Oh my God, I'm having such a good time. This is like show and tell. My, my 64. Oh my God. Oh, hold on a second. My most prized possession. It does not leave this box. It hasn't been opened since the day that I got it. It is a signed Miyamoto Nintendo 3DS. And this was basically the greatest day of my life. I watched him sign it. I watched him draw the little Mario face. God, it's so so incredible. I might cry, I'm so excited. I need to get home to my parents' house because they still have my original. Actually, I still have it. I have a Super Nintendo here too! Hold on! This is for a later video that I've had sitting out. I just collected a bunch of my Amiibo. These are only half of the Amiibo. Like the rest of them are just thrown around my house. This is my childhood. My original NES is at home at my parents' house and I need to bring that back. Hold on a second. More Amiibo on my desk. More Amiibo. Timmy and Tommy, my sweet, sweet boys. <gasps> More Amiibo, oh God. Zelda. Quick Amiibo tip in a Zelda, if you missed the memo, is you can only use them once a day, so use them wisely. Wii U was hooked up down here before. And this is my choice of decorating in my house. Those ones are all missing because I took them down to do my full Amiibo review. Who's down here? Hello, my little friend. What do we have in here? Oh, I don't know. Just some more toys. My life. Oh. Look, I might not be good at Portal, but that's a whole other story. I found more of my Mario figures. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, geez, this is where all the Xbox controllers reside. Double PlayStation. You want to look at like my book selection here that I have on my coffee table? Mm-hmm. Nintendo 64 anthology. Oh, where are we here? Oh, yep, playing with Pirates. Any has classics? Nope, not a Nintendo fan at all. 
Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I apologize for the small tangent, but it is kind of disheartening day after day to hear people just completely try to tear you down and tell you that you don't like something that is basically your entire life's passion. It's the internet. So, I don't know, I shouldn't really be surprised since I've been doing this for almost 11 years. So to anyone who is getting the Switch, let me know when you get it, let me know how you like it, and I look forward to hopefully playing some multiplayer games. I'm so excited for Mario Kart that comes out in April, Mario Odyssey, I mean, I'm a huge Mario fan, I mean, that's where my heart and soul is. So I definitely was upset that they weren't launching with the Mario game, but I can wait for the new Mario Kart 8 remake. We've got battle, we've got a few new carts, and I'm gonna end this video now so I can get back to doing what I really want to do, and that's play Zelda. Man, oh god, an Animal Crossing game would be so good. Oh, ah, I'm excited. Thank you, Nintendo. I love you guys, and I'll see you later in another video. A video that I want to make because I want to make it because I'm talking about something I like. Surprise. Surprise!